wawancara Bini Liana so I can get a better education and you know get like many different opportunities and like learn from others and so I'll be so I can go back home and be a good role model for Gapio community and for other kids as well. Yeah I was a bit homesick when I first got here and then in a while it was pretty good now like all the boys around me you know like we like friends pretty close keeping busy, you know. I'm in year 12 now. It's pretty good. Yeah. The Indigenous program at Scots is a program for Indigenous boys to come to Scots from year 7 to year 12, from remote communities, regional communities and even urban communities, to give them the wherewithal to have a great life. It's essentially what it's all about. We meet lots of new faces, new friends. They will be your mate forevermore. We do have kids with brave hearts and bold minds. And that's why these kids fit so well into Scots, because the very thing that gets them in the school is the very thing that our culture is based on. Some women from her village marry men who don't, or who don't have all the functional body parts. A lot of our boys, English is their second or third or even fourth language. So, you know, it is incredible and you think that these boys come to a school like Scots from that kind of background and make such an incredible success of it. I want to be a, sort of like a role model to the younger Indigenous boys, just to give them a sort of idea of what they can become when they get into the senior years. So where the boys come from in their communities, there's an awful lot going on at times and they don't really have an opportunity to really think about stuff for themselves. Just getting to the end of the day, just often getting food to eat, just getting a, a, a bed at night, just being able to sleep at night and not having lots of noise and stuff going on around them. Coming to boarding school gives them an opportunity to think about themselves and to concentrate on learning and to really grow up in a calm, peaceful environment that they can really, for the first time, really think and do and be their best. because you know, our, our traditions, our you know, culture is totally, totally different from the way white people live. I don't live in the bush. It's alive. I don't know. I'm going to go hunting or dragon, winter or brandy. It's not alive, according to me. Still there, I mean. But this thing, cool as I do. Oh, honey, yeah? It's a good idea, more than coming. More than I know, fly. I know, go. I know, go, whatever. But learn this one to help us. They can get a better job. Why go all around the world? The reason my family send their children away to boarding schools is that they know that they will get a good education. 
this year the four boys, we've really noticed a difference. They're, they're bright young men, um, they're very confident boys and they're, they're, they've got a passion to, to learn. And we're seeing that just being down here this weekend, just spending a day and a half with these boys, you can see how enthusiastic they are to become Scots boys, to, to become mates with, with the city boys. As per usual, which has happened with a lot of Indigenous kids that I've met from Scots, is it takes a little while for them to settle in and get to know us. They're very quiet at the start, but as soon as they open up to you and you open up to them, it's just it's like talking to a best mate. They're just so full of life and so happy. Like Jacob, for the first time, went into the surf and had a bodyboard and he loved it. Yeah, so he'd never experienced stuff like that before. It's just unheard of for him, but it's just opened a whole new way for him and he loves it. Students being educated elsewhere gives them the independence to be able to think for themselves, to decide for themselves, you know, what, what's best for yeah, their people. Right, turn. One, two, three, one. Okay, well one, two, one. Okay. Oh, I think there's often that criticism made that, you know, programs like ours are stolen generation mark two. And uh, I think the fundamental reason why they're not is because we are just offering a choice to boys who want to come to a school like Scott's. I think one of the most racist things that exists in Australia is lowered expectations for indigenous people. Is somehow they have different rules to everybody else. Different things are expected of them to everybody else. That has absolutely no part at Scott's at all. We set high expectations. We want these kids to be head boys, to be prefects, to be head of sports teams, to be pipe majors, and to succeed as, as leaders in the school. And high expectations gives boys freedom because all of a sudden they go, really? And their horizons expand and they go, really? I could do that? I could think that? I could go there? So high expectations we see as, as, as giving boys freedom. Yeah, obviously coming to school is I've got big expectations and I want to exceed them so I want to, I want to go to uni and uh, do, be a physio after Scott's uh, but yeah the road to that's a bit long but uh, that's what I want to do. I think academic support is, is one of the key fundamentals of the program. An Indigenous program is not giving places to Indigenous kids and hoping it's all going to work for the best. That is not how a program is going to work. So we have a full-time staff member whose job it is just to look after 20 boys from an academic perspective and make sure if a, if a teacher says this is due by Thursday that they know what this is due by Thursday actually means. You know we can still have our Aboriginal culture and we can still you know learn about this culture over here and you know use both to help move our people forward. Oh I've done being around well, I think always that there's a, too many keys to learn when. You open this door and you open that another door, and open another door in the future. We're going to see some incredible leaders in the future from, from the education that these boys are getting and the education that they're giving to our boys. It's not so much what um, Scots is giving to them, it's what they're giving to Scots and to our kids. They're learning so much about what the Australian culture really should be. I think that it's a, it's a game changer, an absolute game changer and proud to be a part of it. I think with Indigenous children uh, we need to recognise that they need exactly the same opportunities that every other child in Australia has and for them to have a sense of equity uh, in terms of the quality of opportunity then they need good teachers, they need good schools, they need to be exposed to fantastic programs what we're noticing when we do that in, in our school and other schools is that these children lift and their aspirations for the future lift and they will take their communities with them as leaders. Yeah.